for Coach Saban to afford me this opportunity um, to come here um, for myself and to be able to be the offensive coordinator is one thing, but to be able to sit every day, just like our staff meeting this morning that we've already had, and to be, to be able to learn from somebody like him and his process, um, shoot, I, I would have done it for free. I would have paid him for it, you know, like most people would. So it's been a great experience for myself to see here's what probably is the best system in college football right now as far as it's performing year in and year out and how he does that and be able to learn that what, and what you've already learned from a different system in our first time at USC under Pete Carroll, um, which had a great run there, and how different they are, but to be able to experience both of those, I mean, I, I don't know how you could ask for a better opportunity and, and to have a better opportunity that he, was able, he gave me last January. The phone wasn't ringing a lot. That's the reality. Um, regardless of, you know, we all see ourselves um, in a different view a lot of times than others and thought, okay, well, you know, probably not going to get a head coaching job, but it'll be easy to get a, get offensive coordinator jobs because of what we've done before and places we've been. Um, and, and like I said, the phone wasn't ringing. And um, he called and he took a chance. Um, I know he thought a lot about it because it wasn't going to be the popular necessary media hire, as he's referred to before. Um, but he believed in, in what he thought and what the interview was and the times we'd had discussions before. I get a lot of credit for the up-tempo offense and what we've done with Blake and changing from what we did before. But the reality of the story is this up-tempo offense and going faster and having the fast plays is all Coach Saban. What has happened this year with this offense and the numbers and Blake and everything really are a credit to Coach Saban and what from the first day, what he saw going on in college football and said, well, if it's working so well and it gives people so many problems, why aren't we doing it? Well, they just don't try to do that about 30 times a game. <laughs> they only show it when it works. Um, no, so a lot of times I just, I'm not, I don't even know I'm doing it really. It's just in my head that they're in this coverage and so there's an excitement that because you're calling plays to get a defense. And, you know, if we get this defense, we're going to score as long as we execute it and make the throw. And so there's times that you, you can tell what they're in so that you know, okay, this is going to work. You know, the iron bolt, hey, do we finally got – we called the same play three, three or four plays before, looking for boundary cloud to Cooper where he's going to get on the safety on the corner post. And we didn't have it. He throws the ball to DeAndre to the left because it, was, it wasn't the coverage. Well, we call it again and get the coverage. And you can see they're in it. So, you know, if we, if we execute it like the players did, it's going to be a touchdown. So uh, I don't even know why, when, I, when I started doing that.